Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I've been enjoying my little 3D printer here, but I quickly realized that I needed a tool to measure things because if I wasn't gonna build anything, you know, you need pretty good precise measurements. And what I needed is a caliper here. So, or this will give you really good measurements in millimeters and that's what we need because most of these printers, or all of them I guess, work on millimeters. And that's a more precise way of measuring things obviously. So, so I picked this caliper up for about $10. So they go for around, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 and up obviously. But this is pretty much the cheapest metal one I can find, or at least I think it's supposed to be stainless steel. Oh, okay, so it's hardened stainless steel. There it is. And the company is called Delcast. Well, let's take a closer look at this thing. Paper cover here. And then we have like a plastic box here, guys. Huh, that's interesting. That's actually, I was not expecting it to be this nice. So that actually looks pretty good. And over here we, it says 0 to 150 millimeters. So that's how big it can measure, up to 150 millimeters, guys. So I guess we just pop it open. Alright, so it looks like we've got a bunch of stuff in here. All right, so we have a little note here that the battery must be installed prior to operation. Okay, so basically they're telling you put the battery in. Electronic digital caliper. Here is the specifications of how accurate it is. And a little diagram here of how to use it and what everything does. So pretty interesting, kind of tells you everything. So I'm pretty bad at reading directions. So, so we have, okay, so we have two batteries, guys. That was nice. So we have a battery and we have an extra battery when that one dies. We have a little Phillips screwdriver that I guess you need to unscrew to put the battery in. And here is the caliper itself. And it is in a plastic bag. Wow guys, this thing is pretty heavy actually. Wow, I'm really surprised at how heavy it is. And these fingers here seem to be very precise because they are very sharp everywhere so the precision seems to be there and it looks like we got a little graph here I'm not sure exactly what that means I guess it means a little reference guide there for different measurements so it looks like we have some kind of wheel here that we can spin but I think we need to loosen this first on top let's see yeah seems pretty good like pretty smooth overall so the cool part is, is that not only is it digital, but you know, you also have an actual numbering system here. So, you know, if you didn't want to use the digital part of it, you technically didn't have to. So here it looks like we're right at one, two and a half millimeters. So, all right. So I guess we need to put the battery in. All right. So the door just comes off. So if you flip your little door around here, there's a picture that tells you that the positive goes up to the top so just like that looks like all right so it's turned on right away when I put the battery in that's pretty cool all right so let's put this little door back on so it does matter how it goes because you can see there's a little thicker spot on one side and thinner on the other so the thicker spot goes here and that's it we're good to go Definitely really like that they gave you this hard case here to put the caliper in. Alright, so let's turn this thing on and see how it works. And there we go as it opens. So we're in millimeters right now. Yeah, and that's 10 millimeters right there. Pretty accurate on that scale there, the manual scale. It's right before the line. So, so we have a few ways to measure things. We can measure between here, and then we can measure with this guy's on top, which is the inside diameter. So if you were going to measure like a wheel or something, you know, you'd put it in there and then you measure it like that. But the cool thing is, is we also have a depth measure down here. So as we scroll this up and down, you can see that we can also measure the depth. So technically this should be... 26 millimeters right here. So let's bring it to about 10 and that should be 10 millimeters right there. So it's pretty cool because you can you can measure pretty much anything you need in a part. All right guys, so as a guinea pig here, we're gonna use the stand here and see 
what kind of measurements we got here. So if you wanted to know the thickness of this, you know, it would be as simple as doing this. So that is our thickness right there, 2.42 millimeters. So we can take separate measurements everywhere and see if we're still at that 2.4 millimeter. So there we got 2.33, so obviously it's going to vary here and there, it's not perfect. But let's say if you wanted to do an inside diameter, if you wanted to know how big that was, you know, you would use the other part of the scale. So it's spread it until the jaws hit it, and now we know the inside diameter is 15.3 millimeters. Also guys, whenever this thing's off and you just spin it, it comes on. So you don't even have to click the on button, so it's kind of nice. So it's got like a out of on, and it turns off eventually too. So basically in a nutshell, that's what this tool is for. The reason it's you know important is if you're designing something, like for the 3D printer, you know, that you need to print out. You want your measurements to be pretty close to where they need to be because if your tolerance are good, then, you know, whatever error, little arrows that this thing will make, you know, won't be as large when the measurement is accurate. And so most likely your, your parts will fit a lot better, whatever you're printing. All right, guys, and this is a digital caliber made by Dellcast. So if you have a 3D printer, you're definitely going to want to get one of these. If you're getting into 3D printing especially, you'll quickly realize that you need one. I went ahead and went with a metal one because I didn't want the plastic ones. I know plastic could, you know, potentially not be as sturdy as a metal one. So I went ahead and tried to get a metal one. So I think it's worth the extra money. So if you want to get one like this, guys, this is a Dellcast. I'll leave some links in the description. Check those out. And also guys, if you are interested in 3D printers, check out the review and unboxing I did of this thing. So this is my first 3D printer and I'm loving it so far. I'm enjoying printing little stuff, but mostly I'm excited about building things from scratch and this is why I need this guy here. So, all right guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and 3D printing videos and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. I also do reviews on this channel and a bunch of other stuff. So go check those videos out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.